morning guys it's 7 a.m. here and I am so excited to set up this Montessori inspired shell for Ritwick and um, as you can see from the subject we started Montessori inspired unit studies and today we're going to learn all about insects and as you can see we have loads of activities we have activities throughout the shelf plus here okay and I've prepped up a lot for these activities and I am super excited to show these activities to Ritwik once he wakes up today so uh, I'm gonna sh show them to you first okay so the first tray is language and literacy and for that we have three activities okay so the first one here what I've done is I've just drawn these four butterflies okay a b c and d and he's gonna match the uppercase and lowercase alphabets okay and I'm just gonna give him four at the moment uh, and this is the first time that we're gonna do uh, uppercase and lowercase matching activity okay so I'm gonna see how he likes to do it today maybe you know goes here introduce more alphabets to him once he's comfortable doing it so I have kept the activities very very basic okay thinking at his level okay so something that he will totally be able to do it and enjoy and at the same time learn uh, the second activity here I've just created this on a laminate paper and um, they are this four basic insects so you have butterfly dragonfly and and a grasshopper and i have these laminate cutouts as well and he has to basically match it so okay so you will see where which insect will go where okay butterfly grasshopper so he has never learned about insects before so this is such a great way to introduce them to new concepts okay and such a colorful way as well okay so that's um, language activity number two and for language activity number three okay let me show this to you guys actually so uh, when I was creating I was prepping for all these activities since two weeks now and uh, a couple of days ago you know, I found these insect on a newspaper. I mean, can you believe that? So I just, I got so excited. I just cut these, okay, from the newspaper and I've created, you know, a little insect matching sheet for him. And I have their counterparts here, okay. I did not get all of them in the shop that I went yesterday. So few, like the butterfly is just a foam shape one. Okay, honeybee is just a flash card, but the uh, rest of the other ones I have, okay, so you will see grasshopper, okay, uh, dragonfly, and then there is a ladybird on the other side, okay. Okay. So that's for language activity number three. Then we have three sensorial activities, okay? So the first one is pretty simple. It's about uh, matching, you know, these colorful dragonflies here. Okay, so let me show this to you guys. So I got these, um, felt shaped dragonflies okay these are um, made of felt and they are so awesome okay and he's gonna match different colors okay so yellow goes here and he loves color matching activities nowadays so it's gonna be a fun one pink will go here and so on and so forth okay so a pretty simple one Right. 
so that's one of the sensorial activity okay sorry I don't know why this is coming off okay I'm gonna fix that up later then we have okay, it's bothering me one second okay all right so that's for sensorial activity number one then for activity number two I created um, this caterpillar okay and I've just hand drawn it okay colored it with sketch pens and I have these small play-doh balls and he has to basically match the colors okay so blue yellow green okay such a fun cute little activity orange and red okay such a brilliant way for them to learn about different colors and to play with dough okay so that's sensorial activity number two and for activity number three I have few insects in this rice here okay and I have a jar here okay where he's gonna find the insects from this rice okay and he's gonna just put it inside that jar okay so just and then we're gonna go through their names okay so that one which I just put was grasshopper okay so on and so forth okay so such a fun sensorial activity and he loves anything with rice Okay, with oatmeal so we do loads of these activities and I'm gonna put up a mat or a plastic sheet so we don't really get messy okay so that's for sensorial then here um, we have three math and sorting activities so here I have a ladybird counting activity okay so I created this quick counting booklet okay of one two and three leaves okay and basically what he has to do is he has to correspond the number okay so it's number one put one ladybird here okay number two he put two ladybirds number three three ladybirds okay such a fun way for them to learn counting so that's activity number one for activity number two um, we are going to do again counting from one to three and I have these pom-poms here okay and I've just um, created these three butterflies on a laminate paper and he has to basically um, match the pom-poms okay so it's a great one-to-one -one correspondence to and three all right such a fun way to learn counting okay so that's activity number two for math and activity number three um we're going to do counting of honeybees and i've created this again on a laminate sheet okay honeycomb so one two three four and five so let me show you a few examples here so one and i've just used velcro here okay so it becomes easy for them okay it's two three okay and similarly you'll do for four and five okay so we have like three counting activities and right now he, he can count as five so just focusing on that number currently 
and then we have some fun sticker activities okay so the first one here is about spotty ladybird where he has to these are some black stickers if you can see and he has to basically uh, decorate the ladybird with these sticker spots okay so that's activity number one a great fine motor skills activity and a great activity for our arts and craft and then here I have just this sheet of paper and these puffy insect stickers and he has to basically just enjoy sticking them on to this paper and for the last one obviously this is one of our favorite favorite book we're going to read the very hungry caterpillar by eric carl so this by far is one of his favorite and we love to read this out all right so these are my activities for the day today